Hey everybody, Jay Young. This is June 21st, 2019. Now we're going to do five topics each week under five minutes. So I got to hurry. I got to go because people say I talk too much sometimes. Want to do five topics in five weeks. So you don't need to worry about reading the papers, reading the oil and gas journals. I'm going to give it to you in less than five minutes. Here we go. First one was the oil prices today. Why did oil prices go up this week? Very simple. Disruption in international waters because Iran was shooting our drone, our shot a drone down international waters, and what, what, what did what did Trump say? Trump's like, well, I don't know if they really did that or not. So I stopped the 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 um, the war that we we're going to put on here, and I stopped it because I didn't think they were really serious. And Iran came back and said, no, 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 we are serious. So we don't know what's going on over there, and you never know. But you know, Trump did stop the war within 10 minutes because he didn't want to kill 100. 50 people, which is awesome, you know, for him, but also too, you know, in these times, you see oil prices, they could go up to $65, $75. Remember back in the Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran days, you know, all the wars going on over there, where were oil prices? Over $100 a barrel, and they stayed there for a long period of time. We could be going back there again. Second one was the new pipeline projects announced, bringing crude in. There's Phillips 66. They're taking two new pipelines to bring oil and gas supplies from the Rocky Mountains in Bakken all the way to Corpus Christi because there's refineries down there, but there's also, they could export it. We need 22 million barrels a day in the United States. We only produce 12. We're still exporting oil, so we still need oil from other countries. But what this is going to do, it's going to allow some of the people that are producing in the Bakken, the Niobrara, all these other places, to get rid of their oil and get better prices. That's one of the things that we're looking at in Colorado because we're going to be a big producer there. And when we do, we want to make sure we get the best price. And transportation is very, very important. So this is a great, great for us. This is about Phillips 66 and their export terminal. They're even talking about putting two floating jetties in the ocean full of oil and not selling them at today's day. Somebody said that. A couple days ago, they were like, Tony Romsey said that. Tony said, well, Jay, can you just store your oil? We can't really store that much oil on land. We can't do it. But these guys can probably, you know, carry crude, two floating jetties, millions of barrels, I'm assuming, that they can put over there and store, and they can sell a later date if they want to. So this one they're going to try to do is buy low, sell high with that. This is the Permian Basin is fizzling. But shelf oil production isn't. Great headline for us. We do know that there's still a lot of drilling in the Permian Basin. 700 rigs working out there. I mean, there's a ton of rigs working in the Permian Basin. But we're seeing oil at about 4 million barrels. We feel like it may go to 5 million. You're not going to see it go to 8, 10, 15, 20 million barrels a day. Which if it does increase like it has been, it would, but it's not, it won't. You don't see, you don't have the infrastructure to, to produce that much oil out there. But you're seeing this today in the oil, shell oil production because of the Niobrara and the Bakken where we're drilling in Colorado. You're seeing the shell oil production there increase, which is great. Once the pipelines come in, you will see a lot more oil production out there, which is great for us and our investors in the, in the Larimer County project. The next one is development capital resources. They're putting uh, they worked or working with Ares and putting $165 million to work in drilling projects in the Wolf Camp and the Permian Basin Wolf Camp, which is good news for them, good news for us. You can see now there's a lot of activity going on with other companies, which is which is good. Okay, now let's look at this. This is the Jay Young show. Everybody's pretty pretty sure they know that that I do a show every week on Thursdays at 7 p.m. You can go on YouTube or Facebook at that time, and you can listen to my interviews. This gentleman right here, Ryan Parrott, they call him Birdman. Come on and find out why do they call him Birdman. Not because his name's Parrott. They call him the Birdman because of why. Find out on the show. It's a great, this dude is a great inspiration. He's an author and motivational speaker. He has a charity. Find out about his charity. I invested in his charity. I'm doing his charity this year. My mom did the charity, wrote a check this week on it after listening to his interview. But I did a lot of good interviews like this, and these, these guys are just phenomenal. And this is what I want to bring back. Why did I want to bring on entrepreneurs? How did you make money? How did you do this? How did you give people some shortcuts on how to make money, number one. Number two, people like this 
give back, learn about these guys. We walk every day on this earth because of people just like this, because they went over and fought for us. Find out about his, his, uh, his buddy and, and committing suicide. What do these guys do to help prevent that? What can we do to help them? You know, don't, don't only, and he, has, he said this on the show. Remember this, Kim? He said, you know, when you see somebody that has fought in the war, don't just say, hey, thank you for your service. Say, hey, thank you for your service, but also, too, how can I help you? You know, how can I help you when you get out of the service, or how can I help you? I mean, not just thank you. They appreciate that. And he said, we do appreciate that, but we also want to say, hey, how can I help you? Okay? Now, Go on YouTube, go on Apple Podcast. This five-minute video is going to be on, on Apple Podcast. We're going to give it the updates. Five, five deals every week. We're going to give it to you. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great weekend. Love your mom. Have a great weekend.